Recently, I had uploaded a video regarding how to study for your internals in a very less span of time. So following that, there was a huge uh, request for a dedicated video on how my internals went. So I had my internals in these three days, I mean Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And today it just got completed. And I am here to share my experience with my first internal. So how it went and what were the level of paper and all. So for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. So in the coming days, I am planning of uploading many important videos like it may be regarding freelancing, regarding placements, regarding many important things like that. So let's move on to the video guys. So my first internals was held for three uh, long days. So it was on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So each day had <coughs> papers of two different subjects. On Monday, it was engineering chemistry and engineering mathematics. So on Monday, once I gave my engineering chemistry paper, I got a little bit of confidence because engineering chemistry was a bit easy for me. And then that gave my, that boosted my confidence a lot. And that helped me cross my mathematics paper too very easily. So mathematics paper two wasn't that tough. Uh, these two, since these two were easy and since these two went well, uh, well begun is half done in the same manner. What just happened was I was just, uh, I was just confident that I'll be doing good in the upcoming four subjects too. And the next day, the proceeding day, what we had was we had engineering mechanics and then we had uh, elements of electronics engineering. Man mechanics went well. So since mechanics is almost mechanics, which we studied in our class 11th itself. So it went well and then it was followed by electro elements of electronics engineering which electronics really sucks guys so uh, my electronics didn't go that well because it may be lack of preparation so what just happened was i was not able to meet up to the mark which the question paper demanded so that is one thing which is there in my mind yeah and then uh, the second day was done and then with a little bit of sorrow i uh, i mean i left the college on the second day and then on the third day we had two subjects which was uh, functional english and innovation studies and then that's general english itself regarding grammar regarding writing and all so that we completed easily and then the sixth one was innovation studies so innovation studies also was a bit application level and just uh, regarding with examples we just completed the innovation studies too Two big takeaways which I got from my first internals which is to be known to all of you is that first thing is that when you are new to the university you are still getting into the group what your university does is it sets the level of paper to, to be easy so in your first internals itself if they don't raise the bar they will give easy itself so that you will just get familiarized I mean you will be familiarized with the way the university works. So that is the one takeaway which I would like to tell you here. So you need not to be panicked. You just trust your process and then you will definitely do good in your internals because the paper level is not going to be that hard and all. And then the second big takeaway is the time management guys. Time management was a problem for me. So since there was uh, one, and a, one hour and 15 minutes, so I was not able to complete it in time. So what generally happens is even if you know the content well, even if you have studied everything, if you don't manage your time well, they won't be give, giving you extra time. So that is one thing which I would suggest you when you are practicing problems or when you are uh, studying anything, just uh, try to create an examination like scenario and then try to practice uh, those problems which come in the exams in a stipulated amount of time. This will definitely help you in your time management guys. So these are the two big takeaways which I would like to share you here uh, which I got from my first internals. So I hope you will consider these two takeaways and then prepare for your upcoming internals in the best possible manner guys. So I wish you all the best via this video if you haven't uh, completed your internals yet. And for those who have already completed the internals with me, it's time to get on with your side hustles guys. So when you are doing engineering, so only uh, going on with the curriculum doesn't take you anywhere. If you are someone who belong to IT background or if you are someone who are aiming, who is aiming for IT related job itself in your future, so just get on with your side hustles now itself. Try to learn a programming language parallelly with your curriculum itself. That will help you a lot. So this was it guys. I enjoyed a lot sharing my experience of my internals with you and the two big takeaways which is which are definitely going to help you when you sit for preparing for your upcoming internals. So if you did the same, immediately click on the like button so that I'll get some motivation to do the same kind of videos in the coming future. And then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, immediately put it on the comment section so that I'll be able to uh, read them and I'll be able to think about what can be done regarding it. 
and then last but not the least i would like to inform regarding our telegram group which you must join because there nowadays even doubt solving is going on uh, people are solving doubts when someone is finding difficulty in some problem uh, he is just po- he or she is just posting it over in our telegram group and then four to five different approaches are being uploaded by different students from uh, different corners of karnataka so that will definitely benefit you guys so i would suggest you to immediately join our telegram group if you haven't joined it share it with your friends too guys this thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye